a shalom, giving all glorification, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, Baha Sum, Yahweh Shai, Baha Sum, Rakakwadas, and double honors going out to the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the bishops and Zaquanyam who rule and teach the church well, because that's what they do. Salutations to you, Akiyam, out there laboring on the four corners of the earth, preaching, teaching, and prophesying the right way, waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, on down to all those among Israel who have believed our report, the men, women, and children believers. I'm Shamar Moth, and um, going into another video, all right, digital enslavement, because that's what's coming. And you niggas, man, you so-called, hey, you Israelites, all right, because only, hey, <laughs> we call uh, uh, the two-thirds niggas, man, no matter what tribe you're from. You Israelites, man, who are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, all right, two-thirds of you had no idea what's coming on you, all right? And you, you, you think it's all fun and fucking games, man, until the most high fucking claps your ass till he repays you to to your faces man let me get that scripture digital enslavement is coming see Esau the so called white man beginning with his elites alright the so called J-O-O-Z alright along with the Arab so called Ishmael and uh, Africans so called uh, so called Africans Hamites they brought you over here on cargo slave ships. All right. And you over here thinking you good. <laughs> thinking you got it. <laughs> hey, and a lot of you Jakes, man. Hey, you know what? From a carnal perspective, hey, a lot of you Jakes are doing, are doing better than these Edomites out here. These Edomites is all fucked up on fentanyl, methamphetamine. Okay. But guess what? You were brought over here to serve a hardcore chattel slavery, man. But guess what? You're getting ready to go into digital slavery. Digital captivity. Let me get a scripture. Yeah, I'm going to get this. Hey. Because he's thinking to repay a lot of you Israelites, man. Two-thirds of you anyway. All right, the unbelieving Israelites. Those of you who have, re who have rejected the word of the Lord. He getting ready to fuck y'all up, man. <laughs> you don't want to get paid back by the Lord. I promise you. Because nothing, I mean, I, we can, like, we can do, you know, we can say or do some shit to you. But if the Most High does it, wow. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 10. And remember, a lot of you uh, Israelites, once again, I'm going to repeat myself, two-thirds of you anyway are going into a digital captivity. All right, because you're going to take this fucking chip. I said it. The goddamn c hit man, Karagma, the fucking MOTB. You got jackals and charlatans out here among the IUIC among the I-S-U-P-K. All right. Who ain't warning the lambs. If you howl about Shimmy Howl Shai. They're calling the C-Hip. Everything that other than what it is, man. Karagma. The M-O-T-B. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 10. And repayeth them that hate him to their face. <laughs> Shit. To destroy them. He's talking to you, Jakes, man. He's talking to you, Jakes, man. How is he going to destroy you in a lake of fire? Oh, an underground hell. Where you, when you die, you're going to go to hell. No. Hell's going to be right here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, as a result of the nuclear destruction that's coming. In the form of them ICBMs, them intercontinental ballistic missiles, and the chariots. That's how he's going to destroy you, man. In a lake of fire, that's a second death. He will not be slack to him that hateth him. He will repay him to his face. See? Most I'm going to get at you, man. Oh, fuck.
fuck you up. I'm going to get you, man. Brain implants are here. Are they terrifying or exciting? See, that's Esau for you, man. He wants to give you both sides of the story. He knows damn good and well. Esau, when we say Esau, first and foremost, we're talking about the Amalekites, the international bankers, the so-called J-O-Z, elites, okay? Because we don't care about the average so-called white man. He ain't worth shit. He's a two-time loser. He's going into slavery. So are the elites, all right? But Esau likes to give you, like, two sides, right? It, it looks like, on one hand, he's opposing what he's getting ready to do. But he's not, all right? He's getting ready to implement the MOTB, which is the CHIP, on a global scale, all right? Are they terrifying or exciting? Right. As if he's going to stop his agenda, man. By now, you may have seen the headlines. Elon Musk wants to put a computer chip inside your brain. I'm so like you. This is from um, Michelle Harvin. Okay. Um, off of... Uh, What is this website? The 1A.org? Okay, brain implants are here. Are they terrifying or exciting? All right. This was put up a couple days ago. All right, June 14, 2023. The hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. All right, it says, um, Musk's brain implant company Neuralink recently received FDA approval for human trials. We know this, man. We been, look... The reason why we know this is because we're on our, we're on our spiritual watchtowers, man. We we um we observing what's going on in the news, okay, and we reporting back to the lambs of Yahweh by seeing me outside. Hold on, let, let me get this in Isaiah. This is a milk scripture. All right, Isaiah chapter sixty-two, and he's talking to Israelites, man. Not everybody. Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. And Jerusalem was a people before a place. So he's talking to you Israelites, all right? We shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh, keep not silence. Right. We, we, we're going we to keep running our mouths until the Lord sticks our tongues on the roof of our mouths, man. We ain't always going to be reproving. And rebuking you, Jakes, and correcting you. All right? Most of I getting fucking fed up with you. Okay? So the Lord made us watchmen. Okay? So we look at the news and we filter what we see through the prophecies, man. All right? Verse 7. Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 7. And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. He getting ready to do that. Right now he's starting with his men. You, you know, you, you think we're scumbags, you think we're the scourge of the earth, fucking degenerates. Nah, y'all are degenerates, man. Most high, he, hey, Lord willing, we those men, he's going to make us his jewels, man. And we're going to get praise and fame all throughout this earth. Hey, first and foremost, it starts with the house shy. He going to get the praise and the fame before any of us do, man. Hey, hey before uh, honor comes humility. Right? But a most high Yahweh Baha'i Sum, Yahweh Shai is raising up his elect. <laughs> and you scoffers and mockers. Hey, man, the most high got judgments for your ass, man. Musk's brain implant company Neuralink recently received FDA approval for human trials, but it isn't the only company developing brain chips. Right? Other companies like Synchron and BlackRock Neurotech have already implanted patients with brain-computer interfaces in early trials. The medical possibilities of brain implants are vast. And that's how Esau's pitching this thing, man. Oh, well, why would you, why would you be against someone who can't walk being able to walk again all right, with, the, with, the, with the aid of a, of a chip? See? Cause well, here's why. Cause that's a left-handed miracle, man. 
done by Esau. The physical seed is Satan in the earth today. All right, the wicked pursuing the Job 9 and verse 24. That's why. All right, that's why. He's got a God complex and the most high thing to destroy his ass. The son of perdition. All right, reason I say it that way is because you got a war over here. All right, with the ministers of new covenant, so-called, talking about Esau is not the son of perdition. Really? Well, who's Paul writing about in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter? Paul knew who Judas Iscariot was. Okay, Judas Iscariot was already revealed to the apostle Paul. All right, so why, why was he, who was he talking about in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter? And the son of perdition, that's Esau, the man of sin. He's going to put chips in you niggas, man. All right? Digital enslavement is coming. And that's all I got, man. Hey, hey, slog it for the rant. Lord willing, though, you was edified through the spirit. With that, I want to say shalom.